Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In tonight's video, we're going to discuss the overall market conditions. We're going to discuss what happened today. Uh, we had a great day in the stock market today. A lot of people probably made some money, but we're going to discuss what to kind of watch out for tomorrow and beyond. Okay, uh, just to reiterate, I'm not a financial advisor. Make sure you do your own research. This is for entertainment purposes only. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, shame on you. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and like the video if you find value in today's content. So guys, let's dive right on into it. All right, guys, so overall, uh, the market today, green day, S&P up almost 1% on the day, the NASDAQ up a little over 1%, and the Dow Jones uh, kind of about the same as the S&P 500. The fear and greed index, we are currently at 58% greed. Uh, so we probably, I think we were a little bit higher up here at some point, and we slowly keep kind of ticking back. And for the longest time, you know, it seems like the past two or three weeks, we had stayed kind of like at 50-50, not really knowing like, or, you know, which way to go, I guess. You know, are we going to continue to push up? Are we going to slowly kind of keep moving down? Are we going to come down aggressive? Who knows, right? So uh, we did kind of swing a little bit more uh, this way. So that's something to keep an eye on over the next couple of weeks if we continue to push higher than this lever here will move higher this way okay and this guys if you go to google and type in fear and greed index this is the first link that comes up it's something good to kind of keep an eye on just to kind of see the overall market conditions all right and tracking the vix we are not seeing really that much volatility here we have 1750 so anytime it's under 20 in my opinion it's really you know not really like some really crazy big waves happening uh, we're not you know aggressively selling off and stuff like that so when you see this number start to rise you start seeing a lot of fears in the market okay and this number over here uh, it, it did go down a little bit but it was in the high twos uh, i believe early or sometime last week and we started to kind of slowly come down but we did talk about that on our sunday night stock pick videos and i believe even on monday about how we were due for a pullback because the markets were completely overextended as of late. So let's go ahead and look at the chart, see what they're telling us there, and I'll give you my opinion moving forward. All right, guys, we're going to S&P 500. So we talked about this again, like I said, on Sunday night, I believe, and Monday. I talked about how we were completely overvalued, and just like any other stock, we're going to treat the major indexes just like a stock as far as indicators go. Anytime we're really, really overvalued, what goes up eventually does come back down. Okay, and that's what happened there. Uh, a lot of people out there making all these videos about this doom and gloom, the market's going down, we're crashing, all this stuff. Um, sure, we can see a crash. We could always see a crash and all that good stuff, but some type of big negative catalyst has to come about. And, you know, and, until we get that, it's, it's going to pull back. Okay, and we're going to continue to move up, and you just got to expect that. When we have a, a huge run right here, guys, you can see we we moved up like very very aggressively and hit at all time high. So yeah, we're we're due for a pullback, and even if we fall all the way down here, okay, to that thirty nine fifty level, okay, that's right at about where our SMA line is okay that's a big drop so even if we have a, a big pullback here if we bounce off of that and make our way back up guess what we're going higher okay because if you look back here I mean we fall down and okay, we did actually break below but then we I mean moved up very very aggressively and ever since then we cut we come down and we bounce up come down and we bounce up fall down and test the SMA line bam we're bouncing up fall down and test it boom coming back up falling down boom here we go again <laughs> okay so um, you know eventually we're gonna come back down I'm sure and test that SMA line again but overall um, I see is you know continuing to move forward now can we see some more downside before we make that move back higher up and retest or bust through those all-time highs yes in my opinion I think that we could 
potentially see some more selling off. Unfortunately, I hope we don't, but I'm, I'm thinking that we might, we might see some, okay? Um, I think that you see here on the, uh, the MACD that we are looking like we're trying to cross over from a bearish to a bullish pattern, but I'm not fully convinced yet, okay? I want to just kind of see what happens tomorrow, I guess, you know, first thing in the morning. So some things to watch if, you know, first thing in the morning, guys, if we're, you know, coming out and we're green and we're doing really, really well, you can expect a little red, you know, somewhere about noon and then we'll finish strong and vice versa. If we come out red, expect a little pop around noon, falling back down, end of market and after hours, okay? But overall, like I said, I just, I feel like we could pull back a little bit further or maybe just kind of trade sideways here for a couple of days and then bounce up higher. But overall, uh, a big doom and gloom, nasty crash. In my opinion, no. Unless there's some type of big catalyst that comes and just like shocks the world and, um, you know, makes everyone sell their stocks. That's always possible. But as of now, I don't see it happening. It's just, it's crazy to think that we're, you know, we've come this far in just a year and we're this high up but i do can continue to see it moving in an upward direction so what happens if we do see more downside okay if we see more downside depending on you know your financial situation my personally myself is i'm buying my positions i'm holding my current positions through this kind of sort of uncertain time and i'm just trying to average down as much as i can okay I'm taking a couple, you know, some swing plays to make extra money. And then I can take that money and invest it into my longer term plays to try to average down. That way, whenever these plays start to move, I'm going to have more shares and uh, it'll take less time for me to become profitable. And then when they hit their price targets, that means more profit for me. So that's what I'm doing in this uncertain time. So just kind of, you know, be careful out there and don't get too over aggressive on certain things be patient have a plan um, and you know if you fully believe in your positions and you know a lot about the company and you know their long-term overall outcome of you know you kind of see where that company's going in one two three four five years then look at the dips as a buying opportunity okay and then have a set price target of where you would like to sell if it hits that price target take it okay have a plan of action and follow through on it. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in this video. Make sure that you smash the thumbs up button if you found value in today's video. And if you enjoy our content, of course, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. That way YouTube can let you know every time we release new content. Other than that, guys, we'll catch you in the next video.